Good morning, Christian Life Assembly, and welcome to the August edition of Beyond Our Walls, and I'm so happy to be able to be here beside Danny Foster. Uh, Danny is part of CLA. He is one of our monthly um, partners and is doing a great work, important work, and so I want to start, Danny, maybe there are some people at CLA who are new or uh, may not know your family, so why don't we start with an introduction of your family? Yeah, so just really quickly, I'm married to Renette. We moved out here back in 1999 from Ontario and uh, joined CLA at that time. So we've been coming here ever since. Um, we headed out overseas to serve with Wycliffe Bible Translators in 2004, commissioned from this church. And in 2005, Josiah was born. And uh, in 2007, Isaac was born. They were both born in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Today they're now 15 and 13, soon to be 16 and 14, actually this month. Uh, you came out here to do an important work. Um, your office is at Trinity Western. Uh, you had worked with Wycliffe. So tell us a little bit about the, the, the missionary work that you're doing. Yeah, so when I was already in my teens, uh, I, I sensed a very strong calling to join the Global Bible Translation Movement. And so I've been serving with Wycliffe Bible Translators of Canada since 2004. Uh, spent 10 years in East Africa, mostly in Tanzania, where we helped launch 19 Bible translation projects, wow. which are all now coming into completion. Wow. And publishing New Testament, several were dedicated last year and more are in the pipeline for this year. So those projects are actually all winding down. But in 2012, I responded to another call that saw us unexpectedly relocating back to Canada to take over, uh, take on a new assignment and, and take on the leadership of the Canada Institute of Linguistics, which is one of very few programs in the world. We operate out of Trinity Western University and Tyndale University in Toronto, and it's one of the very few programs in the world that prepare people to go into remote indigenous minoritized communities where their languages have never been studied, analyzed, written down, and, and begin language development work. So it's very technical work, but uh, we provide the training to be able to do that so that our students can go and join organizations like Wycliffe Bible Translators, Pioneer Bible Translators, Lutheran Bible Translators, and we offer uh, two bachelor's degrees, um, four different master's degrees, and we actually have a DMIN uh, on wow. offer as well now. And they're all language related, language development related and connected to Bible translation. It's actually called CAN-LI, right? right? It's the Canada Institute of Linguistics. For short, we just say CAN-IL. Right, right. And Our so, students say, can I yell? <laughs> I'm sure they can, <laughs> in lots of languages too. Uh, so we're so grateful to partner with you uh, in this important work. I mean, uh, Bible translation, getting the Word of God out yeah. is an important element for the mission of the church. And uh, we've partnered on different projects over time. But what I want to ask you today is, uh, CLA is a great mission-giving church. Yeah. Every month we have to raise $30,000 for our, our partners and projects. And I want to ask you, Danny, uh, to look at our church family and tell them why is it important that we support missions every month. And over the last 18 years, I can say that it has been a very positive experience raising my own support because I have a very unique team of supporters and prayer partners, and they have stepped up in some incredible ways in times of financial crises. But to be completely candid, I've also had some negative experiences as well. It's a lot of work, and right. sometimes it's more work than you want it to be and you feel like it's impinging on the work that you should be doing. Right. I can imagine. And so when those funds are coming in, you're not focused on that. You're focused on the work. And, and, and so when, when people give, it allows us to be focused. I'm here because of the long-term commitment and investment that others have made in me. Right. And I think that's true for all of the global workers at CLA. That long-term investment has seen them go from small things to great, big, awesome things for the kingdom. I 
thank you for explaining that because I think it's important that people understand that. And I want to challenge CLA, so Souk Campus, Maple Ridge, uh, Recovery Church, Langley Campus. I want to challenge you to consider giving a monthly offering to Missions General, which will then support 30 partners and their projects because you are our hands extended. And uh, I wanna congratulate you too. You've just completed your PhD. Yep. It was a massive amount of work for you and, uh, and great sacrifice. So well done. I wanna say to CLA, we are not here this morning. We are actually away for a couple of weeks. And so Danny is here. He's one of the great Bible teachers uh, of our church. And so, Danny, I uh, am excited to hear your word. Today, you're going to bring uh, a word about one of the names of God and an important characteristic of God. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so let's go to the message right now. CLA, thank you for your support in missions. And uh, may God continue to bless the rivers of living water that flow out of CLA.